well, second part of the build and uh, a little over a week ago I actually came back and had a look at the place and now we can actually see the columns in p position they've actually been fitted down to the footings uh, the veranda uh, they've got the actual beams in position which is a really splendid job you can see the um, shooting at this stage they haven't actually put uh, uh, bolts in there and uh, we've also got the upper level uh, wall frame so a little bit more timber disappeared lots of stud work you can see this is where they were fitting and we can now see the actual stud work all in position um, really good job straight as a die uh, each time I look at this you can see the stud ties up there um, now they're all ready to tie down the roof but you've got actually trusses now the other couple of factors that's really good to bring into consideration besides the can of drink up here on the beam is that the the beams are mitered okay for weathering which is really good and we've also you can see the temporary uh, timbers that were put in place to hold the um, the veranda in place and uh, and then we can see each of the uh, the bolts that are actually holding each part. So we'll have a look a little bit closer. We can see some of the um, timber work, and and at this stage, uh, it's not actually fixed down to the ground, but it's pretty darn close. It's pretty very strong. You can actually see that, and uh, really good details up here, which is. Excellent. It's very late afternoon at uh, Port Wollonga. So at the moment they've only got just a couple of fixings into each uh, uh, Each bracket and so there's more more fixings involved there nice and strong and We can see it both ways how that is that that's actually fitted together um, They certainly uh, got stuck into it. Uh, I went past Tuesday morning and there were just absolutely a sea of people so here's your temporary uh, material put in place and uh, of course it's going to be clad around the outside and at this stage there, there's cross bracing here which I didn't actually show last time so we've got uh, metal tension strap and we've also got a framing up the top there but at this stage um, it's not actually fully tensioned so we've got a Taipei brace up the top here good old-fashioned Tico which I used for many years and uh, then we can actually see uh, some of the other work so uh, lots of windows all out the back for some reason and then we can see the actual framework so you've got stud ties uh, that are actually holding down to the bottom plate bottom plates actually fixed securely uh, to the floor trusses and uh, yeah good job really good job um, so inside uh, not much has shifted they have actually left a ladder here I've got a frame but I'm assuming that there will be um, a, a scaffold put in here and that'll be the next job so when you look up here you can just see through the cross bracing and all your, your ties I don't think they've nailed the top fully yet as I can see here that the uh, top wall frames about protruding around about 10 to 15 mil uh, past the edge so this is still needs to be knocked into place but um, again uh, really good work some material down here that has been cut ready okay for the next part of the build and you've got all the timber through there so which is a really good uh, illustration um, so I will wait patiently for the next section. Um, looks a little bit more uh, bay roof type because there's not much room to get rid of all the, the rubbish. And uh, there's also the work around the top here uh, with the framing. So um, that is uh, video two.